place to start the video. Huh? Uh, today we'll discuss about tangent and normal of from the part of application of difference in calculus. So tangent and normal. How it's tangent tangent how can be found or normal normal how can be found their conditions their applications also and so this through graph theory uh, through graph i will formulate what is called tangent what is called normal so take this A. and this is why in Cartesian plan so I am taking a car such like in this way so this is y is equal to fx here you can find that the maximum value in this interval if we take from 0 to any point c or d a or b or c or d so it is the maximum value of y equal to fx so what is tangent tangent is uh, in any point at any, at any point tangent is uh, such like take this point take this uh, this is a G and this is E B. So tangent would must be the touch line at the point touch straight line at the point uh, EB so here you can, you can say the look there in this, in the straight line EB is the touch line at the point EB so this is the this is called tangent at any point you can draw any point on this curve a straight line touch straight line which is called tangent so uh, we have drawn drawn at the point EB this is called tangent. <coughs> so tangent must intersect uh, at some point and uh, the x axis. <coughs> so take this. Uh, this is the uh, the point H minus C zero. We can uh, very easily calculate this magnitude of theta. So there is the perpendicular. Uh, you take this is PQ. So tendency of a tangent or um, this. Yeah, yeah, regarding M, this is the tendency. So, M is equal to tan theta. <coughs> yeah, this will be. Very easy. This, is, this is B and the, this is minus C or C. This is considered the distance B by C. But if we are want to know in differential form, then what uh, what can we write? If we take a very small distance dx, this is called dx.
in this dx and very small distance is dy then tangency we can find out dy by dx dy by dx so at any point the first derivative shows the tendency of the tangent tangent <coughs> Now the normal is the perpendicular on the point uh, the where the where the tangent touches the curve uh, there the perpendicular on the tangent is the normal. So normal will be in this form. Here it touches the point E B. Here it touches the point E B. So it must have also the uh, tendency. So we can tell how how can we be calculated? So you can mark that this is 90 degree. This is pi by two. On the perpendicular, this is pi by two. Now. Hmm. We take the parallel line in this way. Parallel uh, at the point minus C0 to the uh, perpendicular MN. Okay. <coughs> we want to know this. Uh, here the straight line parallel to the y axis is this so because it is partner to the tangent it, this must be 90 degree means this must be pi by 2 so if you want to know the tendency you have to just uh, find out pi by 2 plus theta so normal tendency is equal to my m1 m1 will be Ten pi by two plus theta. Here it will be in the second quarter. Uh, this will be changed. Uh, it will be minus cot theta. So this will be written as writing here. This will be I'm writing here. This will be equal to minus one by ten. We will change it in the differential form, then what will be? And it will be minus dx by dy. Normal existence of normal depends on that theta cannot be here is 0 then it will be undefined so theta must uh, necessarily not equal to 0 then we can find out the normal so one thing uh, is to know uh, you can note m1 and m into m1 means the tendency of the tangent and the tendency of normal if you can multiply then you will get what m into M1 will get always minus 1.
so this is the very important result uh, and the, uh, you can find out from any one of them the other also so this is very important formula you can, if you find out first the tangent of the tangent tendency then you can very easily uh, find out the uh, normal tendency also through this relation so this is very important relation So how can we use in the application in differential calculus? If we give it a car f is equal to x square minus 3x plus 2. Then how can we find out the tangents equation. Tangent is a, a straight line. A normal is also a straight line. Now how can we calculate the um, tangents equation? So it is also important. First we discuss this, then we solve this also. So I have drawn in this way. Cut it in black, and there is a part. So tangent at this point in this way. This is, this is the tangent right? So it touches here. Touches here. So how can you calculate this equation? So we have to we have know the tendency M. Uh, we know that any equations, uh, uh, if we know the tendency, then it can be easily calculated through the equation y is equal to mx plus c. Then, so if we take in, if we give in if, uh, any point on the straight line if this condition is given then one point you know, on the straight line is given or at the tangent intersect if it is given let uh, this is x1 y1 then must satisfy this equation so we will get y1 is equal to f x1 plus c is a parameter we don't know the value of c so we first try to uh, substitute to cancel the c through your the equation of the ten we'll get the equation of the ten y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 this is the equation of the straight line in this way you can also uh, calculate the equation of uh, normal this is the equation of equation of the tangent this is the equation of tangent so you remember this how it is formulated you can remember it now look how we can calculate the uh, normal uh, equation this is the line we take a curve in this way here is the point touch point we take the tangent in this way this is the tangent line and the normal will be in this way here will be the normal so to find out the equation of the normal we have to know the tendency of it this is called m1 so any equation can you find out uh, before 
reduce the area of the tangent in the same way you can reduce why you can do in one x plus c1 so we just calculate for to calculate the equation of the normal we need the intersected intersect point uh, where the x uh, where the normal uh, touches the x axis or the y axis or any point on the normal x1 y1 any point on the normal x1 any point on the normal and if, if you will not given x1 y1 if the touch point you are getting on the y axis or the touch point you are getting on the x axis then you can easily calculate otherwise it cannot be calculated so it must satisfy this equation y x1 y1 y1 is equal to m1 x1 plus c if we subtract it we get equation of the normal y minus y1 the difference is that from the tangent equation and the normal equation the tendency is the different different so m1 here there was 8m so this is the difference now we can easily get the cancel c that's what the uh, equation of the normal now it does not depend on the parameter and so uh, putting uh, knowing any value in any point on the normal and the tendency you can easily calculate the normal sequence so, so you can understand how can it be very easily calculated normally now I have given an example taking an example why you can do Minus three x so I have to find the hey. equation of the tangent and the equation of the normal. So we need first to derivative uh, derivative of the uh, to find out first m this is small m not capital M this is small m equal to dy by dx <coughs> now we have given things that we need more conditions to find out the equation so we are given that the tangent we have drawn here we have given that uh, the touch point where the point A of touch e is exist take it uh, take it just will take x equal to 1 then what the value of y y will be get uh, will get 0 so if you want to take the other part here x equal to 1 you are getting y equal the card will be drawn in another way, but just it is given as an example. So we want to we do want to know the positive values of x and y. So take y is equal to 2. So what value it will be given? 
create a then um, if we take imaging we take positive imaging so we are taking y equal to 2 then what will we will get here we are taking this is 2 this is 2 so what will we get here it cancels x minus 3 0 so we will get x equal to 0 x equal to 3 2 points there so I am taking x equal to 3 so this will be 3 2 the touch will be 3 2 another also uh, we are getting point 0 2 also so we are not concerned this is this is, this is mandatory to give otherwise it's very hard uh, impossible to find the location of tangent so uh, what will be the value of the uh, tangent uh, which is at this point the point is already given and uh, 2 3 so uh, we will find out at this point and uh, the tangents tangency so we'll put here x equal to 2 x equal to 3 so we'll get uh, we'll take this in this way we are finding a 3 to 1 so we'll take the 3 2 so we'll get we'll get 3 plus 6 minus 3 is equal to 3 then the tendency is clear now it is also given a point of say 3 2 so we need to find out the equation of a tangent equation for the tangent tangent so y minus a point given also Because we are taking this point because this point the type of point also belongs to the curve and as well as on the uh, straight line turn, tangent on the tangent so we can take this point and this is 3 the tangent tendency and this will be x minus 3 so solving this we will get the just to solve it to make it a more easier to look uh, we will very easily calculate of the tangent. Normal equation can be calculated from this also. Mm, here m is given, so what will be m1? m1 will be, we will get, we have find out the relation that m multiply m1 must be equal to minus 1, so it will be minus 1 by 3. So just replace it here 3 by minus 1 by 3. Normal is also the same point at the same point there is the normal so normal straight line uh, normal is also straight line and this equation also and this straight line also passes through this point 3 2 so the same points will be remain here uh, 2 and 3 just the tendency will be changed here 3 and it will be changed by minus 1 by 3 by changing it you can very easily make a equation of the normal so I think you have a clear concept now. So thank you, thank you very much. So uh, I will also request just to subscribe this channel and continue logic video just to clear mathematics uh, in easy way. I think you have no doubts uh, on any topic which I am going, uh, which I am going to understand, make you understand. So if further I appeal to all of you. If you have any query, any question on any topic, so you must comment me in comment box so that I can understand what topic you, you are getting for that or frustrated. So I need to mark the points and I will try to clear in the next videos. So thank you. Uh, share with your friends. Thank you.